Hello, I'm Judy Saunders. I have been involved with the co-op now for two years as a council member, another year as a committee member, and I've completed seven years as a director. An elected member is a member, as we all are, uh, of Chelmsford Star who is more committed and wants to get involved not just voting, but hopefully standing for election. Well, there is a small um, uh, a remuneration for the time that you spend, but mostly what we're all in it for is because we all believe vehemently in cooperation. We like the way the cooperative structure buys ethically, sells ethically, treats its staff ethically, treats its members ethically and is totally democratic. Absolutely no qualifications are required at all. My background is from an entirely different uh, discipline. I come from science. I had worked in a shop as a, as a schoolgirl and that's about as much retail experience as I had. But so long as you're willing to put in the time for doing the training and uh, just listening to other people, you learn quickly on the job and give to it what you can and we all bring different backgrounds to it. Most directors aren't directors when they begin working with the uh, Chelmsford Star. We have three tiers to our governance structure and most people are encouraged to start with the first tier which is our council and that meets four times a year and starts to find out about what Chelmsford Star is all about and they get involved in uh, what the members might be interested in, what the members might want to do. After that we move on hopefully towards membership committee where they get involved more in steering some of the events that we put on for the members. When you first begin with the council, the commitment is not huge. They meet four times a year, usually in the evenings. It gets a little more as you come to committee. There are, they meet eight times a year. A lot more is required from directorship. They meet 13 times a year as full board uh, meetings. We're very proud, Chelmsford Star, that we give back 33 pence in the pound to the community. So in every way we get involved in where the money's spent, what's done with it, and even internationally we've been known to help launch a uh, cooperative in Africa, which also we're very proud of. If you've got an interest in what goes on around you, if you're interested in how sh uh, shops buy their foods, buy their other retail goods, if you're interested in doing your bit for your members, your, your neighbours, anybody you know, and if you care about how people are treated at work, how they're paid, how they're charged for their goods, then you get involved with the co-op because we are the ethical retailer.